this is Man United Inside again on it, welcome back. Please subscribe for more updates news from Inside United. Rio Ferdinand believes Jared Bowen, Michael Olise and Jacob Murphy are among the Premier League wingers who would help improve Rasmus Hodgland's goal-scoring tally if they played for Manchester United. Hodgland is yet to score his first goal having made 12 Premier League appearances since his £72 million move from Atalanta in the summer. The Denmark international has scored five goals in the Champions League group stage this season but injured another frustrating game on Saturday as United were beaten 3-0 by Bournemouth at Old Trafford. Ferdinand believes a lack of service from United's wide players is to blame for Hodgland's lack of goals in the league this season and feels Eric Ten Hag's squad need wingers who make it a priority to supply their strike if Man United had Michael, Elias, Jack Harrison, Dwight, McNeil at Everton, Jacob Murphy at Newcastle, any one of those four wingers, I reckon he, Hodgland, would have five or six goals by now, Ferdinand said on vibe with five. Why? Because they cross the ball. All four of those boys, their first thought is, get the ball, head down, either beat the fullback and cross or give me a yard and cross the ball. He, Hodgland, needs service. Bowen, is another who would help Hodgland. These guys want to provide, we've got wingers who either want to get a shot off, shoot, beat someone. Ferdinand also believes Bruno Fernandes is the only United player in recent years who has managed to hold his transfer value during his time at Old Trafford. If you look at it, what player has gone to Man United and got better? Ferdinand asked, Varane has got worse, Casemiro has gone backwards now, their value and worth. Bruno is the only one who you'd get good money for. He's the only one, who else? W.A.N. Basaka, you ain't getting £50 million for W.A.N. Basaka. You ain't getting what they paid for Dallo, I'm sure. Ahmad Diallo. I could go through them all. I don't know who comes in. Would you get the same money for Hodgland? No. Sancho? No. I could keep going. Van der Beek. Manchester United player described as best midfielder in the world returns to training. Manchester United, fresh off of a disastrous 3-0 loss to Bournemouth, received one good piece of news this weekend. According to their official club website, an injured player is nearing a return to match fitness. With crucial fixtures in the FA Cup and Premier League taking place before the two-week break in January, squad depth will be pivotal for Eric Ten Hag and the Red Devils' success. The Red Devils' announcement stated that, Casemiro has started training on the pitch. A former Champions League winner with Real Madrid, the Brazilian was injured during an October match with his national team. Ten Hag has benefited from Johnny Evans and Luke Shaw becoming available for selection in recent weeks, but adding the experienced midfielder to his squad rotation would also help. Casemiro was spotted training alone on the grass at Carrington, the report from United further clarified. An immediate return date was not listed. At 31 years old, the captain of the Brazilian national team has already suffered injuries in his career. These recent injuries, however, have caused concern for supporters even as their star player prepares to take the pitch once again. Casemiro's importance. The manager has utilized the midfielder in several roles since he arrived in Manchester last year. Known for being an expert at defending, the Brazilian can also produce chances and has scored some incredible goals. The Dutch manager has opted to deploy the 31-year-old as either a defender or a holding midfielder in recent matches. His performance with Brazil at last year's World Cup led some to dub Casemiro as the best midfielder in the world. The veteran's presence for both club and country is undeniable. When he is fully match fit and knows the role that his coach wants him to fill, the tank is among the most formidable opponents to face. Eric Ten Hag fielded questions on consistency, belief and the importance of the fans at Old Trafford as he spoke at the pre-match press conference for Manchester United's crucial Champions League clash with Bayern Munich. The manager was joined at the media briefing by Scott McTominay, the scorer of both goals when the Reds beat Chelsea 2-1 at home in our previous midweek game, last Wednesday night in the Premier League. You can find the Scotland International's quotes in our separate story, watch the full press conference below and scroll down to read every word from Eric. Eric, you're obviously not in a great position going into your final group game. 
What would the feeling around this club be if you can't qualify out of this group? I don't know. What I know is I never think in negative scenarios. I only think positive. We know what we have to do, we have to win to stay in Europe, so it's all about that. So I will prepare the team with that feeling, with that belief that we can do. It. I think we have shown in the last weeks, when we are at our best, we can do it. Going into this season, going into the Champions League on the back of last season, what were your ambitions for the competition? Obviously not to go out in the group stage, but did you believe you could go far in this competition, win the competition? First, I don't think about winning the competition when you start the season. First it's about getting into a position where you can win. So now we still have the opportunity, it's not any more in our hands, but we want to stay in Europe and therefore we know what we have to do. We have to win to stay in Europe. Eric, I'm just wondering how the team's looking. Is anyone returning or anyone unavailable? It's a condensed program so we have a training session later, so at this moment, I'm not sure about everyone who's available for tomorrow. But the question mark is on Viktor Lindelof, whether he can make it or not. We have to wait and see until tomorrow. You're saying you're not looking in a negative way towards the game. But you're facing a side that hasn't lost a group stage game in the Champions League since September 2017. You're coming off the back of the Bournemouth match. What does give you hope? It's our team. We are not consistent, that is, clear. But we have also a very good performance and highs. So if we get it, when we are in the right spirit and then we are able to do it, then we are able to beat any opponent. Following on from the question, what gives you the belief, Eric, that the team can win tomorrow and extend your stay in Europe? Because the form hasn't been good. It's been 14 goals conceded, 3 defeats. What gives you the belief? What have you seen that gives you the belief the team can go ahead and do that tomorrow night? As I said, the game against Chelsea, the game against Everton and even the game against Galatasaray. And so I know this team can perform at really high levels. We did it 3 months ago. We did it last week. And so, I know we can do it. When we have the right mood, we have the right spirit and it starts with the right attitude, when everyone is ready for it, we are able to do it. There's a concern you don't know which of your teams is going to turn up, because you have a great performance against Chelsea and then you have what happened at the weekend. Is that the most frustrating thing for you as a manager, you don't know which Manchester United is going to turn up?